Hello, athletes, families, friends, and coaches. We want to welcome you to the Northeast Regional Championship hosted by the World Ninja League. At our regional championship event, uh, this is going to be our uh, challenge course rules. Um, you still have both of your courses, so that would be the flow and the challenge, but this is the rules for challenge. Um, this challenge course format is going to allow athletes to fail and retry obstacles. Uh, athletes will be given two retries throughout their duration of their run. Uh, however, only one retry can be used per obstacle. If an athlete fails an obstacle, they have the ability to retry it, and then the course will be reset. And then the athlete will return to the start platform. Once that obstacle is reset, the ref will start the Ninja Works timer, and the countdown for the athlete will begin after that. Uh, the winner of the challenge course will be the athlete that made it the furthest, the fastest. So now we're gonna start to go through our challenge course rules. Um, during this rule set, we are gonna state uh, what the obstacle is. We're gonna say if it is hands, feet, or both. And then we just want everyone to remember that everything that is not mentioned in play, or sorry, not mentioned that will be utilized is out of play, and that everything that we mention uh, will be what is in play for that obstacle. Um, so once we have provided the description of the obstacle, we will then have our tester over here demonstrate all of the obstacles um, so you can see a uh, test of how they are done. In this course, uh, there will be no skippable platforms to our close proximity rule. Um, and additionally, please remember that is the athlete's responsibility to engage the buzzer. The World Ninja League and Ninja Works recommend a firm press down on the buzzer to make sure that it has been hit. Um, and then once you have hit that, all of our awesome Ninja Works effects, including the lights, buzzers, and smoke, will go off and you will show that you have uh, finished the course. Um, other than that, we thank you so much for watching this video and we wish you the best of luck on the course. If you have any questions uh, about the course when you get here, please make sure that you reach out to a WNL representative and we can help you with the, uh, any questions that you may have. So best of luck again, and we are gonna start to move into our first obstacle. So our first obstacle here is going to be this little parkour lane. You're gonna be able to utilize these black um, balance rails on the ground, this green platform, and then also this black rail here. This red platform is what's going to be in play. Um, and that, sorry, that is gonna be your finished platform. <clears throat> you are able to use this bar if needed to help control yourself. This is uh, going to be your first obstacle for the teen, females, and males. And Andrew? Perfect, and that is a clear. All right, moving on to our second obstacle. We're gonna have two demonstrations here. First is going to be the female demonstration and then the male. So for the females, you will have this red platform as your start platform. Remember this is uh, a start stop platform. So please do not overshoot it as it would be a clear for the first obstacle, but then a fail for the second one. So please make sure you stay on it. Um, you have the platform in play here, these bars, the rings here, all these rings here, and your landing platform is going to be this red landing platform over here. So uh, without further ado, Andrew. And that is a clear. Once they have let go of that last ring down here, right? Remember, you have to disengage and clear the plane of that platform for it to be a clear of the obstacle. Now, uh, we are going to be doing the demonstration for our um, male version of, of, of the course. So again, you're going to have this red platform here. Um, the bars are going to be in play and the rings are gonna be pulled up. So there'll be only the two rings down here at the end of the course that are gonna be the ones that are in play. So as you can see, the red rings are being pulled up out of the way and our final bars are being dropped. So we have one more bar to drop real quick. Um, just to go over again, <clears throat> this red landing platform over here will be the platform. You have to make sure that you cross this final plane and you have finally disengaged the obstacle to um, get that full clear. <clears throat> so in one second, we will have that uh, demonstration. Sully's working nice and hard up there in the truss for us to make sure we have the obstacle reset properly. <clears throat> and you're good, Sully? Good, so just a little bit of tighten here and then we'll be demonstrating this next obstacle. 
Andrew's been crushing it for us today. He has, uh, <clears throat> he has <laughs> uh, been doing a lot of the testing on all the flow courses for us. And then he's also killing it right now for us on the challenge courses. So we want to give a big shout out to our guy, Andrew. He's been absolutely killing it. He's like, don't really talk about me. This is weird, but <laughs> yeah, we really appreciate it. Um, he's already qualified for Worlds and we're super excited to see him compete there. All right, looks like Sully is all set for us and we're gonna start this obstacles. Remember, start platform, bars are in play and the rings at the end. So this is for our teen male uh, competitors. That pull pad has incidental, so please don't worry about it. And once he lets go, that is a clear. Well done. All right, we're gonna make our way over to the snake bite. And what's in play here is going to be uh, this ring, the spider web looking obstacles, and then this is your green landing platform. So this is going to be the same for both the male and the female uh, athletes. Andrew? <clears throat> and clear well done all right moving on to our uh next obstacle which is going to be the pipe slider so you're going to have this green platform as your start platform then uh, for the females you will have this red platform in this position and then we'll do a second demonstration for the males with a different dismount all right, Andrew. <clears throat> well done. All right, and then we'll reset our bar and change our platform. So again, green platform is the start platform. This red platform back here is going to be the dismount. <clears throat> and Andrew. Well done and cleared. Moving on to our next obstacle. This is going to be same for both the male and female athletes. Uh, start platform is going to be this red block here. You'll be able to utilize this pull pad in whatever way you need. Then the blue tops on the full throttle are in play and your landing platform is this step here. You also are able to use this first bar to be able to help steady yourself. Uh, this is the same for both male and female. Andrew. and clear well done all right we have two versions of this next obstacle it's going to be our up for grabs first version will be our female we're going to utilize this trapeze bar these two red rings this bar will be in play and they will land on this red platform here so andrew on the demonstration And clear, that is also the start platform for the next obstacle, so please do not overshoot. So now we are gonna reset for the next obstacle of the mail. <clears throat> this is gonna be an up for grabs move, so you're gonna see that we have now uh, added that ax up top. It is, um, so that is in play. You will have the trapeze and the ax, and then you'll be able to utilize the ax on this bar here, so. Um, when you grab, come down, and your landing platform will be this red platform here. All right, Andrew. And clear, well done. All right, moving on to our next obstacle. This is going to be the lily pad and uh, for the male and females, we will have two versions. The females are going to have this block, um, sorry, this will be your start platform here. Then you're gonna have this block in place, be able to use the blue part of the rail, just the blue, the top of the lily pad, this platform, uh, sorry, that little box, and then the blue platform here will be your finished platform. So, and your demonstration for the females. <clears throat> All right, and then one quick change out for the males is going to be a second balance rail. And all right, 
So same thing, so our platform is the red, you'll be able to utilize the red block. The top of the rails here, so on this one it's just the black rail, the lily pad, and your landing platform. Well done. All right, moving on to the back side of the course here. We're gonna go into our cliffs. All right, so again, two versions, one for male, one for female. Um, we'll be able to utilize, we'll do the female version first. Start platform is red. Be able to utilize both sides of the cliff. This ring, T-ledge, uh, the cliffs here, all these cliffs, anything on both sides and this ring. And your landing platform is going to be this red platform over here. All right, so the female version. <clears throat> All right, once he gets over that plane, that is a clear. Making our way back over here to the beginning. This is gonna be our male version. Um, we're gonna have the uh, cliffs on both sides of the first board be in play and then the cliff on this board, this ring, and then any holds on this back side here will be in play. Say again? Is it both sides of that? Yeah, you can use either side, correct. All right, and that would be a clear. All right, moving on to our next obstacle in the maker steps. This red platform here is gonna be the start platform for both male and female. You will be able to utilize, uh, this is just the female uh, course first. We're gonna have a different version for the males. Females are gonna be able to use the bar, uh, these uh, books going up, and then you'll have a T-bar, book, a T-bar, and you will land on this green platform here. So um, this will be the female version first, and then we'll make a slight change out for the males. It's the top side of the books, right? Top side of the book for females, yes. All right, and that is a clear. If you need to grab chalk real quick, you can. So we're gonna make one quick change out here for the males. Again, this red platform here is gonna be your start platform. You will then be able to utilize the bar and these three devil steps, and then you'll have a T-bar, but you're gonna have two of the devil steps here. But uh, the one change out also for the males is that the tops are going to be out of play. So you're gonna see a little red tape marks. I think the one that Sully is putting up currently right now does have the tape mark on it. We will add the tape mark to this one um, come the day of your competition. <clears throat> All right, you got it. Yep, push towards down more. Shoot to two. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Slide that in. All right, so again, like I said, you'll see that this red tape on the top here, that'll be on both of these books. So you're gonna only be able to utilize these parts here. And then you will have this green platform uh, here at the end as your dismount. All right. So we're gonna have Andrew go through this version. This is for the teen males. <clears throat> and clear, well done. All right, on to the deja vu. We are going to have, again, two different uh, courses here are two different versions of this obstacle. First is going to be the female version. You're gonna have this red platform as your start platform. You'll be able to utilize that bar and then you'll be able to use any of these bars that you uh, can use and land on this green platform here. Please remember that this is the start platform for your next obstacle, so please do not overshoot it as you would have cleared this obstacle but then failed the next one. Um, Andrew? All right, and that is a clear of this obstacle, so I'm gonna do a quick reset here. All right, and for the males, all right, 
you are gonna have one fully linked obstacle here. So there is not going to be this platform in the middle. You are going to have to make your way across this obstacle here. Pull this mat forward a little bit. <clears throat> All right. So you will be able to use that starting platform that Andrew was on currently, and then uh, you will be able to utilize that bar. This ring up here is also in play. You will be able to then use that ring to come down into these cannonballs here and work your way through to this landing platform. Andrew? <clears throat> <clears throat> and clear all right we're going to just double back here real quick for the female version of the next obstacle since the males uh, had a combined obstacle the females are going to have this red start platform here oh wait no sorry not the red start platform my bad uh got myself a little confused this green platform that was here And slide this mat back as that was a start finish for the females. So that is going to be the start platform for your cannonball obstacle. You'll make your way through, land on that red mat to finish this obstacle. <clears throat> and clear. All right, making our way over here. <clears throat> We're going to have the uh, parkour obstacle, make just a slight adjustment. All right, so this is gonna be the female version first. Uh, you are gonna be able to utilize that star platform that he is currently on, the rope, and you will be able to utilize any of these bars that you need to be able to get to this green finish platform. Andrew? Perfect. All right. And then Andrew, if you could go back and go one more time. On this one, the males will only be able to utilize uh, the rope in play um, and none of the bars and or red ring are gonna be in play. So it'll be just that rope. All right, Andrew. Perfect, well done and clear. Moving on over to the second to last obstacle. Almost there, folks. All right. So we have this top hat alley. So for the uh, females, they are going to be able to utilize this purple uh, start platform, the uh, chuck, the two top hats, just the red parts here. Remember, black is out of play and the ball so you do not have the uh, ability to use any of the hardware so remember we're just grabbing the obstacle here we're not trying to get all the way up on that hardware um, your landing platform is going to be this red box right here and andrew Perfect. And then for the male version, you're going to get one extra top hat here. So make a quick change. On this last top hat is just the red that is in play. So you have the first obstacle here, your uh, purple start platform, just the reds, and your landing platform here. All right, this is for the team males, Andrew. Nice, crushing it. All right, moving on to our final obstacle, the Angry Birds. We are going to be having two options here as well. One for female, one for male. And uh, your red platform here is the start. 
you're going to be able to utilize uh, the Angry Birds, the Flying Saucer, and the ring to then dismount on that red platform. So this is the female version. Once you have completed this obstacle and have landed on this red platform, you will make your way over to the buzzer, firmly press it for all the fun ninja works to go off. We got our smoke, we got our lights, we got our buzzer, uh, and we'll be all excited when we see that go off. So we're gonna have Andrew uh, do this demonstration. There we go, nice, come on. All right, and we're making one quick modification here for the male athletes. Sully's gonna do his best to undo what we got going on here. So for this obstacle again, your red platform is going to be uh, your start platform. You are then going to be able to utilize uh, the green Angry Birds. Um, <clears throat> that's gonna be to bring you through. You're gonna have one switch grip grab, which Sully is uh, attempting to um, unhinge at the moment. We had it locked up nice and tight for our other athletes. <clears throat> <laughs> I have faith in you, Sully. I don't have faith in you guys. <laughs> oh. Wrong direction, yeah. <laughs> so again, I want to give a big shout out to our guy, Andrew. He has run the flow course four times. He has now done the challenge course for the, what is this? You'll be your second run through here. So he has been uh, doing great for us. He's been running through it all. So can you unclip it? There we go. Uh, Sully, it's caught in that corner right there. All right, great. So we will pull those runners completely out of the way uh, for when you are going to go. But again, all right, start platform is this red box here. We'll be able to utilize uh, the three Angry Birds, and the fourth if you want to do the reverse grab, but you do have a friendly ring right there for you to be able to hold at the end. You will land on this red landing platform, and then again, you will make your way on over to hit that Ninja Works buzzer, get all the fun stuff. We got the smoke, we got the lights, and we got um, uh, all the everything, right? So we're super excited. We'll be all cheering for you when you go and finish. And Andrew. Nice, well done. Good, and hit that platform, hit that buzzer, and clear. All right, so that is it for our uh, challenge course for the teen age group. We're super excited for everybody to come and compete and try our courses, and can't wait to see you all. Good luck.